Probably should have passed out of that. Here's Anderson, slow-mo, playing in slow-mo, bank shot good, Golden State. Welcome, everyone. This was the most healthy game uh, for, the, for the Warriors so far this season, and shit was fucking hilarious. It was just an absurd game, especially, of course, the fourth quarter. The Warriors got off to a crazy lead, 31-point lead. And we're playing some just beautiful basketball, beautiful ball movement, even without Steph Curry and the Anthony Melton still. And everyone was moving the ball so nicely. Uh, the split actions were working. Uh, of course, Buddy Hield was incredible. Wiggins looked really good and, you know, he returned from his injury. And um, yeah, we were just moving the ball, getting whatever we wanted, really. And played with a good pace. Defensively, we were locked in. The switching continues to be great, the hands are incredible overall from everyone on this team. The point of attack defense is pretty solid. I think the timely double teams which we've talked about are really great. The accountability you see from Jerry Staghouse, the want to defend from this team, it's just there. And we were getting a lot of catch and shoot three pointers and it just looked great. It was beautiful, it was awesome, and then in the fourth quarter, and I mean in the second half, we got outscored by 30, <laughs> pretty much. Um, where, of course, uh, the three-pointers stopped falling, uh, the Houston Rockets, you know, uh, just brought out the ball, ball pressure, and without Steph, the ball handling wasn't as smooth as you would like it to be. Buddy Hield got bothered, Pojemski got bothered, Kuminga got bothered, or, uh, whenever they, you know, pressed pressed them with their ball handling and it led to a lot of turnovers. Tari Eason was an absolute menace for them. And yeah, that's an issue, man. They they handled the the, the pressure and, you know, uh, the picking up full court pressure, you know, from the Rock is very horribly and uh, that needs to be better. Obviously, without Steph, it's gonna be hard, but they need to be better uh, ball handling wise against these these opponents. But at least it's on tape. And let's be honest, last year and the year prior, the Warriors would have lost this game. Uh, and it was, I was already done with it once the Houston Rockets went on a big run. I expected them to make it at least like, you know, 15, 10 point game. But uh, once, you know, we just started turning the ball over, they were, you know, just more energetic all over the floor. They had all the momentum in the fourth quarter. They were, you know, getting on the offensive glass, which they absolutely destroyed us there. They took, what was it, like 20 more shots in the game? P pretty much 30 more shots in the game, which is crazy. Um, I was giving up, I was pessimistic as hell, but we pulled it out thanks to, you know, Pojemski, Pojemski being really clutched and Jonathan Kuminga just taking over in the overtime, coming off the bench, playing another really good game off the bench, 26 minutes played, 23.6 rebounds, 7 of 12 shooting, got to the line 10 times, which is huge, took just 3 three-pointers, which I feel like, you know, they were all in good rhythm, I sh um, actually the, the, the one he missed was actually a pretty bad one, but Otherwise, they were really good. And he seems to be playing much more efficiently, much more direct. Uh, he knows what he wants to do. He wants to get to the rim, get to the cup and attack, which was huge. And we overall attacked the paint really well against these Rockets, who are a really solid defensive team. Uh, but we missed 18 free throws, which was also a huge issue. If we just made 10 more free throws, uh, shit would be done. If we just made few more free throws, shit would be done in regulation. But we wanted to give them the game. Draymond, his only turnover By after inbound, was a really, really good game pass. from him. Uh, and a question pointer he hit in the fourth quarter. Uh, <laughs> his only turnover was just hilarious, right? And then he fouls out on the foul and Buddy Hill doesn't even get a shot up. And I was like, oh god, man, we're gonna really lose this. We pretty much won this game twice, lost this game twice, and then still won the game, which uh, obviously is just incredible. Buddy Hield won that six man of the year, and he's been playing just incredible. Uh, even though the turnovers, like I said, the chaos that insert in this fourth quarter and overtime was incredible. So many turnovers, so many just high uh, level, <laughs> high level funny moments. <laughs> How the fuck do I want to say it? Like so many moments that were just like straight out of cartoonish, straight straight cartoonish, man. Where you know. One team turns the ball over, then it leads to another, they miss a layup, they miss a three-pointer, they turn the ball over, they give them a free layup, that turned the ball over, and shit just was nuts. <laughs> um, but it's a huge test that we won this game, actually. It's, I think, uh, you know, as good as it gets when you think about it. And 
Um, of course, we got the, the Wizards next, who have been playing a little better than you expect them to, but Steph could be coming back for that game on Monday, and then we got obviously the Gauntlet. That's where we'll see where this team stands. We got Cleveland, who is 7-0. And playing incredible with Kenny Atkinson, a familiar face, former assistant, of course. Uh, then there is, there is, there is uh, Boston, obviously, and OKC. Pretty much the three best teams right now in the league. Uh, with us, if you want to count us in that. So, um, that's going to be a huge test. But first, we got to take care of Washington in Washington. And then we, you know, if we win just one of those three games, we'll be seven and three and Shit will look pretty solid. We will we will be ha happy with that. Um, other than that, what else is there to 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 to, to talk about? So I talked about Wiggins being back. Um, uh, Steph not okay. Okay, so, yeah, I pointed out that Steph is not back in Houston, which makes me sad, right? Because Steph always terrorizes in Houston. Uh, we attack Jalen Green on defense a lot, even though he is he has been better in uh, the Rockets. You know. Uh, with the Rockets overall defensively this season, we attacked him pretty well, especially off those screens and then led to some wide open three pointers and some good buckets. I thought we also posted up the posted them up really well. Not just Kuminga, it was Wiggins, it was Looney. They all got to the foul line a lot and they all posted up posted them up really well. Which was huge. Uh, Wiggins, uh, while he looked really good in the first quarter, he then couldn't find the rhythm that much. He also almost got hurt on one of those turnovers he had in the fourth, where it was looking like we were gonna crumble. Um, Trace played just 12 minutes, which was intriguing. Uh, him and Moody played a little to no minutes in the second half. Uh, and I also want to point out how Trace just keeps on running. This was huge. And Kellen Azabuki pointed it out. Um, mm -mm. I also thought, you know, Wiggins did really well defensively. Uh, he was assigned on Jalen Green for, from the start. Uh, and that's a really tough assignment after the injury with uh, Jalen Green's first step and quickness. But thankfully, we just did a really good job on him. And uh, like I said, our defense has been incredible. Um, and uh, I wanted to point out this play, the body split action that led to a wide open Draymond layup. Draymond just rolling and looking for those layups is huge and different from last season. But, you know, these split actions work really well. Other than when, you know, they put, put the full court ball pressure, ball, ball pressure on us, then it's much tougher to execute. The catch and shoot three pointers, obviously. Um, Lindy, uh, you know, seemingly fitting in. He moves the ball. The ball keeps moving with him. He plays with the right pace, which is huge. And I also want to point it out, slow-mo slow -mo shots, which was hilarious. Um, but yeah, the free throws are a good sign still. It's obviously nasty, we almost blew a 31-point lead, but we still handle ourselves well. And it's the new NBA, right? Even though a 31-point lead isn't as crazy as it used to be. And uh, we need to work on those free throws. But just, you know, getting to the bonus so early in the second and third quarter... It was huge and incredible and it led to us getting that 31 point lead. It's just a shame we couldn't, you know, capitalize more on that. And I'll catch you all against Washington on Monday. Wait, on Sun Tuesday, pardon me. Bye.